Hello, my name is Bob Carter. We're standing in front of some work that I do with uh, pleasure. It started many years ago with me doing uh, TV sets, and from that experience, uh, from that time, I got involved with doing children's books for a period of years. And at a certain point, I decided that I wanted to do children in a uh, warm and a humorous in a nostalgic kind of context. And that's what these paintings are really about. They're intended to amuse and hopefully uh, enjoy in a very, very positive way. Okay, so you have this piece up here. I like this. Well, the piece that you're looking at now is just called Clubhouse. And there's a stage and age where uh, girls don't like to play with boys and vice versa. And guys have that group gang period in the, in the our gang sense, not in the negative sense that we can think of today and this is the stage where the guys don't want the girls in and, and I'm sure if they had the girls at a clubhouse they would feel the same way so it's in a positive spirit it's not really it has nothing to do with uh, gender wars it has to do with the stage of growing up exactly, exactly. and so what is the uh, the medium you're working in here what is the medium you're these in? are acrylic paintings but they're done on wood and cut out and uh, the three-dimensional factor kind of grew. At first, I used to paint directly on a wooden background. And at one point, I cut out the edge of an item, and then I cut out half of, a, of, of an item, whether it be a part of a dog or part of a cat or part of a figure. And at one point, I said, let me try to separate the figure from the background. And they became literally many stages, uh, but it evolved. Uh, many, many people ask, uh, to, in, in effect, uh, how did you start doing it? And it's like most people in the creative community, whatever they do, it probably went through stages, and this went through stages in that spirit. I see that you have over here, around the corner here, you have one of my old favorites where I used to watch uh, Frankenstein here. Oh, yeah, well, the rascals. <laughs> they are, uh, of course, mov movie icons, and I grew up with uh, uh, Frankenstein, with Boris Karloff, and Lon Chaney as the Wolfman and so forth. And this, and of course the Little Rascals, the, the, the original Little Rascals was even before my time. But uh, I'm a movie buff and they re that represents a whole era of, of, of joy, a whole era of, of uh, just special children's growing up era and stage. And uh, this particular setting is showing uh, the money that they're trying to get together to see the movie. Well, I, yeah, the first one that caught, they caught your eye. Well, I appreciate that. I um, make up virtually all of the figures that I do. Occasionally, I'm involved in a portrait, and that's a particular person. But I often describe myself as a uh, crew. I'm sorry, as a casting agent. If I literally did movies, I would try to find the right actor, actress for the right role. If it's a leading man, there's certain people that do that well. If it's a person that's a great uh, sidekick, then you would follow with it. Well, the point being, most neighborhoods, certainly in mine, uh, had guys that would always try to get over. They would it was smooth with the ladies and uh, smooth with maybe conning you into lending them money, and I call this one Slick Rick. And so the character, or the characterization, or the image is trying to suggest uh, kind of a smoothie but without hostility or he's not a he's not a criminal but he's he's smooth he's smooth slick rick what they call it what they call it slick slide five huh? <laughs> that would do that would do well, i want to say thank you for being on the show i appreciate your time and uh we're going to be looking forward to seeing where else you're going to be and what's coming up soon what's coming up soon for you well i think the next major show is there, there's something I'm doing in uh, Long Island at a gallery called Gallery North. That'll come up uh, in a couple of weeks, and that'll be there about a month and a half. And then another month will pass on, and I'll be in Dallas, uh, Texas. There's an exhibit there at the Black History Museum. So I try to be at the right place at the right time. So we're going to have to look at your calendar. You, you, you do have a calendar, eh? Uh, I do now. <laughs>
right. <laughs> okay. It's a pleasure. I've enjoyed being here. Thank you.